This function allows you to load containers by manually entering data using a PC keyboard. To begin, select Ship, Load Container, Build Container. First, add in the container TCN. For the container type, you have many different options from 463 Limo pellets to 20 foot C vans. Select the appropriate type of container for your shipment. Then enter the box or container number. The load container maintenance screen includes three tabs, measurement and contents, primary details, and tracking. In the measurement and content screen, fill in the required fields, container cubic feet, and add measurement weight. Notice that these fields are highlighted in red. Once finished, click on the primary details tab. Next, enter data in the following required fields, POE, POD, cosine, type pack, mode, priority, and operation. You may input data in all other fields, but they are not required. Notice that you have an option to write the RF tag content if you desire to burn RFID tags. Next, select the tracking tab. This screen gives you the option to generate a tally sheet for the container that you are shipping. Click Save. Also, you can select the TCMD tab, which allows you to modify block 19 through 31. Once you are finished, click Save. From the screen, you can preview or print the TCMD and even send the TCMD as a file. Click Exit, you will return to the container maintenance screen. Then click Exit. Once your container is created, you have to load TCNs into that container. There are different options to load a container. You can load existing TCNs, add new TCNs, load from the RF tag, or load from an OMC. If you choose to load an existing TCN, click Load Existing TCN. A screen will appear with all available TCNs. Check the TCNs that you want to load and click Save. A screen will appear letting you know that the TCNs were loaded. To add a new TCN, click on Add New TCN. The fields will blank out, allowing you to enter new TCN data. When you are finished, click Save. From this menu, you can remove a TCN by clicking on Unload TCN. This will remove the current display TCN data from the container. If you have several TCNs for that container, and you would like to remove them all, click on Unload All TCNs. When you are finished, click on the do it all button. The do it all screen has multiple options available to help you finish your shipment. You may create a container manifest, create a TCMD, write a TCMD to a file, write an RF tag, write an OMC, or even generate an MSL. You may select one or more options or use a select all button to do everything. Make your selections and click OK. Depending on your choices, you may see multiple screens. Each screen will show a preview with the option to print. When you are finished, click the X on the top right corner to close the current screen and the next selected option will pop up on the screen. When you are finished with all options, click Done. You will return to the AMS main screen.